about the cafeteria, lunch will be held in the media center today for lunch and learn. Again, lunch will be held in the media center due to the remodeling of the cafeteria. Everyone, have a blessed and glorious day. Excuse me, Mr. Stoudemire. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, hello, afternoon snack. Get up. Uh, Mr. Bennett, Cody Bennett, that is. Star quarterback for the football team. Alma mater of the great Stephen Quartermain. Oh, I'm the running back. Uh, I, I knew that. I just wanted to see if you were paying attention. <laughs> Have a seat. So, uh, what can we do for you today? Well. Mr. Bennett here took it upon himself to take advantage of the substitute teacher by hosting an unauthorized science experiment, which Dr. Lawrence forbid weeks ago. <laughs> this is true, Mr. Bennett. They're still cleaning up the mess as we speak. Uh, Mrs. Pickles, uh, give us a moment. Phew, I thought she'd never leave. <laughs> oh. Mr. Bennett, you were in my office three times last month. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, this is the second day this week. Look, I can't keep giving you passes. Passes. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> You're running back. Whatever. So, you know that means you won't be able to go to the fundraiser this Friday. And it means I'm going to have to call your mom. Go right ahead. Call her. If she won't answer. Well, I'll call her. She's not there either. It's the middle of the day, son. Where is she? She's in the hospital. What in heaven has happened here? This place is a mess. Don't ask, just clean. Clean? Really? And, um, who's gonna pay for my manicure? Hello? <laughs> Where's Dr. Lawrence? She's out sick. We have substitutes. Speaking of substitutes, where is Miss Goofenhauser? <laughs> Did she take Cody to the office? No, no. She called Miss Pickles to come have him removed immediately. She was standing right here, fanning away the smoke, and found her. Oh my gosh! Pick her up! Is she okay? This doesn't look good. Is that slime in your hair? We're in trouble. <laughs> I don't want to know when we find you. Give her some air. Just the right amount of light, Aww. sparkles, duh. Enough, Tommy. That's enough. Thank you. Now, where is Mrs. Goofenhauser? She went to, uh, the, the two ladies' room. <laughs> Rachel? Um, she actually went to both. Mm. Yeah, mm. she, um, took an early lunch and then she went to go powder her nose after. Oh. Yeah, she yeah. wanted to give us a chance to be responsible and clean up this mess, so she may be a minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. As soon as she returns, and I do mean as soon as she returns, you have her to contact me. I need for her to host Lunch and Learn in the library today, okay? Yes, yes, yes Mrs. Mrs. Pickles. Lisa, 
up. Grab a yard stick so we can prop her up. Kayla, try to find some clothes. Excuse me? Rachel, don't you do hair? Uh, well, you do now. Do it. Don't you record all of our lessons? Absolutely. In order for all of us to pull this off, everyone, and I do mean everyone, has to help out. Why do we all have to help out when Cody was the one who did the experiment without permission? Yeah, but we put him up to it. He may be in a lot of trouble and is going to need our help. Do all you can for everyone who deserves your help. Proverbs 3.27 And what is that supposed to mean? It means that if we have the power to help someone in need, then we should do it. Okay, okay, fine. I will help. Great, come on. We don't have much time. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Don't we have a contact number for him, Mom? I mean, we have to have one on file somewhere. I mean, he's giving me this line about uh, his mom being sick, yada, 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 yada. I mean, I, I'm afraid he's right. His updated file says that Cody was placed in a group home temporarily after the illness of his mother. Let me see this. I got this. <laughs> Mr. Bennett, um, I see why I couldn't reach your mom. Well, I told you she wouldn't answer. But why didn't you tell me you were in a foster home, son? I didn't think it mattered. Besides, I won't be there long. I mean, my mom will be out of the hospital soon, and, and I can go home. So is this why you've been in my office every other day? No, I, I, I just... No. Yes, being disobedient and breaking the rules. Don't sugarcoat this. I guess so. Mr. Bitter, you have to understand, you can't break the rules. This little science experiment you came up with has put you in a very precarious situation. Precarious? What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know, but it sounded good, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we don't call this Faith Academy for nothing. The very foundation and essence of this school relies heavily on our faith and prayers. I know, faith without works is dead, yada yada. Obedience gives birth to our blessing. Yeah, I, I, I know, I know. Book, scripture, and verse. With that being said, you already know what your punishment is, don't you? Not PSS. PSS. <laughs> Prayer for staff and students. It's in door uh, two, down from Revelation Hall. Come on, Mr. Stoudemire. Is the rest of the day really necessary? I mean, I I've been praying for my mom ever since she was taken to the hospital. You may have planted the seed with a prayer, but have you been watering the seed? You can't water a seed by being disobedient in class, Mr. Bennett. I mean, I prayed, but it's like God doesn't hear me. Oh, he hears you, son. Here. Take a look at this plant. Before it became a beautiful plant, it was once a tiny seed covered by all of this dirt. Hey, I've been looking for that. <laughs> now in time, I had to water the seed. And leaves just didn't pop up. It took time. See, the whole time it was working, even though we didn't see it. Do you understand what I'm saying, son? Yes, sir. Stuart, have you found out why Miss Goofy has her passed up from the experiment? Yes, it appears that the gases that cause the explosion can act as a mild sedative if taking certain medications. Sinuses, maybe? She was sniffling a lot, maybe even crying. The good news is that when she wakes up from this, she won't remember a thing. Great, now all we have to do is wake her up. I read somewhere one time that the massage person is canceled that stimulates the brain. Okay, let's try it. Caitlin? Excuse me? Oh, I forgot. You learn fast. <laughs> Guys, here she comes again. Again? Everyone, take your places and remember what we talked about. Water in his stupid toy. Do not. Shh. 
Now, you all, as soon as Mrs. Goofenhauser gets back, please have her to give me a call in the office. I'm gonna go and show the little helpers around the school. Shoot, 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 shoot. <laughs> Yes, I'm Cody. Now, I spoke with Mr. Stoudemire, and I understand your mom is sick. Uh, y yes, she's she's sick, and he sent me here to pray for her, and that's all I'm here for, just a little prayer. Well, you've come to the right place. You're here right in time for the second half of class, and usually before lunch, I will allow the students to worship and pray however they choose, and that's what's going on right now. Oh. Ladies, ladies, come over and meet Cody. Oh, no, no, no. Hi, this is my kids. Hey. So, Cody, tell us a little about yourself. Oh, um, well, my mom's sick, and I was sitting here to pray for her, and, and I'm in a foster home right now, and I hate it. And? Well, I did a little experiment. Experiments this morning that I did not have permission to do, so now I'm here. So, does anybody have any advice for Cody? Here, we're gonna need this. <laughs> all right, all right. Everybody, let's settle down and prepare for lunch and learn, okay? Okay. Hey, psst, psst. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not really any good at this. What am I supposed to be doing here? Your mom's sick, right? Yeah. What you need to do is find all the scriptures in the Bible that deal with healing. That could take all day. <laughs> Flip to the part in the back of the book and find the word healing. It's kind of like a dictionary. Okay. Uh, then what? It gives you all the books and page numbers that talk about healing. Then you just pick one and you only need one. But how do I know which one to pick? There's so many. Whichever one fits your situation. Okay. Well, then what? Then you say the scripture all day and all night throughout random times of the day. And then automatically, it'll roll around in your head. All day and all night? Yes. <laughs> you have to speak healing over your mom. And believe it, no matter what the doctors say and no matter how she feels. You stand on the words that you speak, no matter what. It's called having faith. You got that? Got it. Is everybody on page six? <laughs> yes, everyone is on page six, Miss Goofenhauser. Rachel, why are you standing behind me with a, a hair dryer and a comb in your hair? <laughs> you passed out from Cody's experiment. Your hair turned green and purple and Tommy made me fix it. <laughs> what? Tommy? What's going on here? What is Rachel talking about? <laughs> Oops, there's more to learn. <laughs> Talk about being sick for the bill. <laughs> Let's move it, people. Your lunch will be cold if you keep moving like snails. That Walmart, right in the middle of the hallway. God, I hate him. What was that, Caitlin? Oh, nothing, Mr. Oreo. <laughs> Orero! Orero! Whatever! <laughs> He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our inequities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. By stripes, my mom is healed. Uh, Miss Koopenhauser, what's uh -uh. wrong? Miss <laughs> Koopenhauser? Oh, yes, Cody, how can I help you? Um, I, I just uh, wanted to check out this book for lunch and learn. 
and uh, apologize for the science experiment earlier. Okay, um, just sign right here. <laughs> uh, Miss Goofenhauser, what's wrong? We were gonna get married. <laughs> Who? Me and my boyfriend. Why can't you and your boyfriend get married? Shh! Don't say that word. Three? No! Boyfriend! <laughs> Jeez. Hey, Mrs. Guppenhauser, what's wrong? Actually, uh, funny story. She, uh, broke up with her. B <laughs> She broke up with her bow. Her bow. Her bow. Why can't you just say boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Don't say the word boyfriend. It drives her over the edge. <laughs> What's wrong, Mrs. Guppenhauser? Why can't you get married? He said, because I live here, and he was in California, and he can't stand the distance. Oh, uh, Miss Goofenhauser, here, why don't you try eating something? It'll make you feel better. <laughs> By listening to the song, once you release all your anger in the song, you'll forget all about your boyfriend. <laughs> from the education department for his annual review. Is that lobster? How did you? Never mind. <laughs> uh, Mr. Charles isn't due here until Thursday. It's Thursday. Uh, well, our general meetings usually don't start until about 2 p.m. So that gives me about... Mm, 15 minutes. Which is just enough time for me to finish my lunch. You want me to tell him to wait until you finish your lunch? I don't care what you did. You don't have to, Miss uh, Pickles. I'm already here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Mr. Charles, how are you? <laughs> All right. Have a seat. I won't be here long. I'm just here to collect your annual report and see how things are going. Mm -hmm. Things are going fine. They are going just fine. Because this academy is funded 100% with state funds, we have to make sure that the mission and goals of the academy are being met. They are. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. We'll see about that. Start with our annual checklist, shall we? Uh, what's your graduation rate for the year? I'm excited to say our graduation rate is at 91%. Mm -hmm. That's a 4% drop from last year. 91% <laughs> is good? Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. We'll see about that. Uh, next category, absentee and attendance. Hmm. Uh, it's, it's. Uh, well. Let me see that. Aha, I knew it. <laughs> Student absentee rate has increased by 6%. Your numbers aren't looking too favorable, Mr. Stoudemire. My next area of concern is prayer. The forefathers of this academy made sure that the biblical principles are being honored. So, before you answer this, bear in mind that this is the most important of the three. Mr. Stoudemire, guess what? Uh, uh, Cody, this will just have to wait. We are in the middle of a very important meeting. Cody, <laughs> we are in the middle of a very important meeting. Very important meeting. It's all right. I think I'd like to hear this. Go ahead, son. Okay. Son? Okay. You know that talk we had about, you know, you know, the plan, the dirt, and obedience? Well, well, it worked. It really worked. I mean, I found a scripture in the Bible, and I repeated it over and over and over again. 
But nothing else matters. The good thing is that it worked. My mom is doing so much better now. She's coming out of the hospital tomorrow. Oh. Fantastic. That's great. Uh, <clears throat> As you were saying about prayer, Mr. Charles? Well, I was no, only going to no, say no, it. No, 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 to tell the truth. Miss Spiggles, the reason that Miss Goofenhauser wasn't in the lab when you came by is because she was in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I have been waiting to hear this all day. Go ahead, Rachel. The gases from the experiment made Miss Goofenhauser pass out, and she was unconscious. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I didn't pass out. I, I took some medication for my allergies, and it was way more powerful than I could ima imagine. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I can't even that. You're gonna have to find some other sub for tomorrow. All right. Does this type of nonsense go on like this every day? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, I must complete my report with nothing but the truth. And the truth is, with everything that I've experienced today, from kids' parents being healed to such a dedicated teaching staff, and kids rushing to your office just to open up and tell the truth, I must say, Mr. Stoudemire, I may not agree with how you run this academy, but all these positive outcomes can't be overlooked. So, Faith Academy has my recommendation to remain open at least one more year. You don't need this. No, it was for you. Sure. Excuse me. All right. Hey, Faith Academy, one more year, huh? Yeah! Woo! Need some hot sauce with that? Tabasco. <laughs>